Okay, like, okay, I don't know why I turned him off. <laughs> Usually I wait until the countdown's done, but I'm bored, so I'm here. I'm talking. Hello, hello, everyone. Uh, woo, more trivia. Woo, yeah, baby. That's what we're waiting for. That's what it's all about. Um, festive Joe music. You know how it be. Um, hello, need a pint. Hello, knowledge is power. Hello, Omni wins. Boogie Santa. He do be kind of schmoovin' right now, though. Like, let him cook. Let him cook. You're always bored. That's just rude. Are you saying I'm boring? Okay. Okay. Calm down. Calm down. Um, Anime Dan. Hello. Welcome. Uh, how are we doing, guys? How are we doing? Who is watching? Please do type a message in chat uh, if you want to. If you want to say hello. If you want to say hi. Um, Ellie says, if, you're, if you want to be bored, watch that show. What? The, the, the curse. The curse. It's got... Um, it's got, who's it got in it? It's got Nathan Fielder in it, I think, and like Emma Stone, which like seems like a pretty good lineup to be fair. Like I I, I don't think I'm gonna watch it because like I don't know, I just don't know. Watching TV, I just don't really do that. I kind of more like a YouTube person in all honesty. If I'm gonna, oh I'm like talking to people or doing stuff. So like I don't I don't know, but uh, it does seem more right. Like I maybe maybe I'll watch it at some point in my life. Who knows? Um, Edgar Harrods. Where did he say? Uh, EG Vickers got the hiring, got a call with a hiring manager for a job at Harris later. Go on, EG Vickers. Go on. Get that job, bro. Get that job. And then, uh, cheekily give me some discounts, okay? So I can go get tons of nice stuff. That's what we really want here, okay? It's not what you know, it's who you know. Always remember that, guys. Uh, maybe not in more trivia, but in life. <laughs> um, yeah, good luck, good luck. Um,. I've only been to Harris in Edinburgh, says Test 1, Test 2. Fair, valid, like. Fair, like, fair enough, I can't, can't say much to that. And he says, I'm glad I rejected the interview with Harrods. I don't want to work with Egg. That's that's fair. That's fair. No offense, EG Rickers. I'm sure you're lovely to work with. Um, <laughs> also, I need to pay out. Okay, a couple of things, actually. A couple of admin bits that I need to sort of, like, say. So, uh, if you are expecting a Mr. Stanley's prize, please do check your email address because I have emailed them out now. I um, emailed them out. I've, like, sent an initial communication. So, please do respond to me if you haven't already because otherwise I'll just have to pass it on to the next person and then it just goes deeper and deeper down the rabbit hole. So, please do message me back if you can. Um, if you won Moolah yesterday, I paid it out after this show. So, I'll pay them in like one lump sum between today's and yesterday's one. Um, and there was something else as well, but I've totally forgotten. So we're just going to pretend that there was nothing else. Um, Harrods is awesome, but bloody expensive. So I'm going to why I need that discount code, you know? That's why Egg needs to get me that discount code. Um, uh, Harrods is a posh slash famous department store. Very famous in the UK. Yes, yes it is. Um, I think I've only been there like a couple of times. I bought a box of chocolates for someone once from there. Literally bankrupted me. Couldn't eat food for like five days afterwards. Crazy stuff. Um, <laughs> I literally was like, well, I either survive or I buy this box of chocolates. It's really fancy for someone. I was like, I know what I'm picking. Uh, <laughs> uh, Eddie, Egg needs to hoop. hook. hook uh, Egg needs to hook up the morons. So true. So true. Egg would get told off for using and abusing his discount too much. More such Harrods crossover went. Get your hiring managers today. Be like, hey, so I know a guy who knows a guy who uh, really wants to do a quiz show. And it'd be like, there you go. Perfect. Nina Pike says, I have one item from there. A toy pig that oinked and walked about. What a crazy, crazy fun time. Uh, Harrods a Christmas style. I feel like it's great vibes. Okay. Like, maybe I need to go. Maybe we need to go to Harrods this Christmas. That'd be, that'd be kind of fun. That'd be kind of fun. Um... I've been there a few times, but only on walkabout. Can't afford it, so Cyber Goddess. Valid. Valid. Sometimes looking at the things you want to buy is just as good as owning them. Said no one ever. But it's fine. We, we can pretend, right? Um, hello, uh, Mrs. Box. Mrs. Boxy. Um, how was your birthday? I think it was yesterday, if I remember correctly. Hopefully you had a lovely day. Joe January. That's it. That's the entire season of January. It's just called season. What would it be on then? Like seven, season seven, Joe January. That's it. Um, hi everyone. Hello. I have guinea pigs. The test one, test two. Um, hopefully, I okay. <laughs> I was gonna say hopefully they're enjoying their lives, but that sounds weird. So <laughs> I just stopped myself. Um, September. True. True. Very true. Very true. Um, it was great. Thank you, Joe. Absolutely lovely to hear. Very very happy. Um, anyway. Haha, <laughs> Joe, can I say that with a straight face? I do my best. Um, anyway, question 
number one is getting started after we explain the rules. So hello everyone, my name's Joe. This is more trivia. Now, if you've been here before, which I imagine most of you have, you probably know these rules, but we're going to go over them anyway for those of you that might not have played before or forgotten because you have intense, intense dementia. Uh, so, there's going to be six questions that I'm going to put in front of you in just a few seconds time. Your job is to answer the questions quickly and correctly because the quicker you answer the questions, the more points you're going to get and the top scorers at the end of today's show will be walking away and with the following prizes, first, second, and third, a thousand moolah each. Anyone that scores over 35,000 points, so we get 60 moolah each. And then there is a spot prize of 250 moolah as well. Now, I know what you're thinking. What is moolah, Joe? Well, let me tell you. Moolah is our amazing, cool, fantastic, great in-app currency. I know. How many how many adjectives can I get there? Um, it is awesome. You can donate it to your favorite streamers. It turns into real money for them. Uh, so it really does help out the, the economy, the ecosystem inside of more. So, uh, yeah, basically play. Get yourself some moolah. And then have a chance of being added to our leaderboards as well. But more on that at the end of the show. So, let's get started with question number one. Here we go. Question one. This is an easy question, okay? For anyone that has ever done science in their lives, this is about to be the easiest thing you've ever seen. Question number one. Here we go. The pH test is... The pH test is used in science to determine what is it used to determine acidity, temperature, or intelligence. Now, personally... I measure my brain meats with the pH test. I genuinely forgot what brain cells were, <laughs> which is so dumb in the context. So really the answer, it is acidity, it is acidity. Good job to the 65, you get them right. One go for intelligence. Okay, okay, well, everyone, we have someone here who is not very intelligent. One person, one person only. Um, zero for temperature though, good job, okay. Uh, 65, thumbs up. Good job, guys. And let's go on to question number two. Keep this going. Question number two. Now, this one, recent news. Fairly recent news. So, uh, you know, we're keeping our quiz questions up to date here. Question two. Which previous PM has recently returned to the cabinet table after seven years? Seven years. Is it Gordon Brown, Theresa May, or David Cameron? Ivan is ticklish, says Ollie Wynn. So true. So true. Um... Those dove advert educated people, says Gruff. Yeah, I believe that. I believe that. <laughs> um, what's your pH? What's your pH brain meat rank? Fifty-two, and figure out where that is on the scale. Uh, really, the answer it is David Cameron, the new Foreign Secretary. Forty-seven get this one right. Eleven going for Theresa May. Eight going for Gordon Brown. Um, all have been prime ministers at one point in their lives, um, but no, David Cameron is the one that's come back. So there you go. I. Okay, <laughs> good, good stuff, good stuff. Um, is it good stuff? I don't know, I don't know. Let's have no uh, political thought or discussion in chat, everyone. Um, anyway, question number three. Question number three. Here we go. Let's get started. Um, good stuff. It is. Is it? I, I'm not allowed to have an opinion, but <clears throat> anyway, question number three. Here we go. We are talking about this show right here, okay? Now, how many of you guys have seen this before? How many of you guys know what this is? I know someone in chat who's been on this show, okay? Not to say names, Crawdad. It was Crawdad. Uh, Crawdad may have been on this show. Um, <laughs> love it. So, start, I know. Come on. Like, this is brilliant, brilliant. Crawdad hates this show. Crawdad did great at this show. He was just up against the smartest person on the planet. Question number three. Here we go. In this show, how many letters are given approx how many letters are approximately given in a word round? Is it nine, seven, or eight? Vote away. Don't be late. Don't hate on the letters that may be eight. Buzz? Okay, watch it, Joe. There's fire, fire in the booth right now. Um I miss Crawdad's knowledge is power. <laughs> Crawdad is still like around. He does do a show fairly off uh, fairly often. Um, anyway, revealing the answer. It is Nine. You're given nine letters. 28 get us on right. Um, 80 go for seven and 22 go for eight. Okay. Okay, fair enough. But you, yeah, you're given nine. Okay, and actually there's nine things across. If you ever watch Countdown. I mean, it's kind of like you don't really think about it. You just say like, no, you see the letters and you're like, okay, well, like, okay, fair. But like, there are nine of them. So there you go. Good job. Um, everyone in chat right now, you just want a teapot. I'm very proud of you. Um, let's <laughs> look at the leaderboards. Where are people ranking? Here we go. Um... Here we go, here we go, here we go. Why does the question say approximately? Because you technically do have seven, eight, and nine letters. You just need nine to finish, like, 
it's the correct amount. Um, anyway, <laughs> uh, in the lead so far, we've got Gruff, followed by Gina B, and now cut that out. Very well done uh, to my top three there. we got, oh, Dove31 is actually drawing, so I take it back. Sorry, Dove31 drawing in third place there. Uh, followed by, best kind of a funky phrase here, Anime Dan, CT, Swizzler, and Nina Pipe. Okay, Nina, I see you, I see you. Let's, uh, let's get this dub. Okay, let's get this dub. Question number four, here we go. Uh, oh, I get to show you my, my hell image. Here we go. Look at the burning skeletons. They're like, ah, it's so hot. That's what they're saying. If they could talk, but they they can't because they're skeletons. Uh, or maybe they can. I don't know. Maybe this is what this is actually. I went down to hell, took a photo of this, and came back up again just to show you guys what it really looks like. Okay. Um, where Joe is going next holiday? You know, you know how it's with global warming. This is gonna be Britain next year. Crazy, crazy. Um, anyway, question number four. Here we go. In Greek mythology, what was the name of the deepest part of hell? Was it Ixion, Hades, or Tartarus? Tartarus. Taratus. I don't know. I imagine it's like Tartarus. Tartar tar Tartarus. I don't know. You guys can correct me in chat, I imagine. You know, you, you do love correcting me. I'm um, revealing the answer. It is. I mean, it's a canary wharf. It's hell. So true. Tartarus. Okay. Well, the correct answer is Tartarus. Good job to 15. Get us some right. 41 go for Hades and 8 go for Ixion. Um, Hades, the god of the underworld, but not the deepest uh, part. So a little bit maybe of a trick question. Not really a trick question, but a little bit maybe a like savage question because you guys are Hades and you were like, hell, Hades, I got that. And then it wasn't. You were like, no, I hate you, Joe. I hate you, which is like totally fair. Like I would as well if I was you. Um... Pronunciation is my specialty, Jeff Keys. You know, you know how it be. Um, we're all going to hell. So true, so true. I mean, no, not at all. If you get above 35,000 points, congratulations. You're in heaven or purgatory. Where do you want to be? Um, anyway, <laughs> I hate you, Joe. Thank you. That means so much. Uh, question number five. Here we go. Now, question number five. Pause the music. Time out. We need to listen with our ears, okay? Listen with our ears. Question number five. Five, listen to this. And don't tell me anything about this song. Don't tell me nothing. Just listen and understand, okay? Here we go. My favorite song of all time. Uh, <laughs> anyway, question number five. Here we go. We're playing the song one more time, but who had a 1978 hit with this song? Was it Digital Emotion, Bodie M, or ABBA? Who is that? Who is that? Says Knowledge Power. I know the dance to this. Just Dance Expert Ellie in chat right now. Um, the correct dance is Boney M. Boney M. Massively famous song there. Um, Rasputin. 44 getting some right. 4 going for Digital Emotion and 14 going for ABBA. Very well done. I went with ABBA. I, I, I guess I can kind of hear that a little bit. I mean, it's not ABBA. Like, it, it definitely isn't. It's Boney M. But, like, even so, I, I guess I can kind of hear that. Like, I don't. I don't. I don't hate you for that answer. Um, anyway, let's look at the leaderboards. Then we're going with our last final question, which is going to be question number six. But leaderboards first. Here we go. Anyone got full full points so far? Well, Dav31 basically does. I met Bodium, so let's go for a point. Wow, that is exciting. Um, good job, Dav31 in first right now. Followed by, now cut that out, and Swizzler. We've got Anna S, SJP, HVAC, Jeff, Gina B, Gruff, Urban Sabrera, and Funky Frazier. Currently, in the lead. So very well done. Very well done. Um, we're now going to move on to question number six. Okay, question number six. Here we go. Um, and then we're done. Show show over. Okay, if you've got some points, well done. I'm proud of you. Question six. Here we go. Let's actually put the music back on. Now, do I have a... No, I don't have an image. Okay, question six. In judo, what's the name for a score of a perfect throw that ends the contest? Is it a coca ippon or Wazari. Fert away. Now, I kind of, when I used to do competitive fighting back in the back in the day, back in the day, I used to do competitive karate sparring. Um, this was like measured in like, and I'll tell you because the question's over now, was Wazari, which is half point, Ippon, which is full point, 
and an attach winner. So the correct answer is Ippon, which is full point or perfect score. 29 get us some right. 30 go for Azari, which is like half point, um, usually mentioned. And then Coca, 20 of you getting that one right as well. But yeah, Ippon, usually it's like it's only awarded if it is such a perfect hit or such a perfect throw, contact, whatever it is, that it's like a complete, just like, yeah, you've immediately got that point. No half point, you just immediately, so, so clean. There's no way you shouldn't have got that point. So you just get it and then win um, after that. So there you go. Uh, we used to, I used to do jujitsu, so I know I knew that, says Ellie. There you go. There you go. It all adds up. Um, anyway, that was question number six. Let's take a look at the leaderboards. Who is in the lead? Who's in the lead? Who's won? That's what I really want to know. Who has won? Who's impressed me? I will be impressed by anyone um, on this leaderboard who's scored above 35,000. Uh, now cut that out. was in first, followed by Dove31 and Swizzler. Uh, we're getting a thousand Moolah each. So very well done. We then got Anna S, Gruff, Best Canava, HVAC, Jeff, Andy H, and Gina B, and CT in our top 10. Uh, looking down the leaderboard, though, where are we getting to today? So 36,000 there with Mila1213. Anyone above Mila there in 30th place? You just bagged yourself 60 moolah, so very, very well done. And here's your Otto English, I see there on the leaderboard. Hello, hello. Um, take a look at our at our show cards, okay? Just not saying anything, but take a look at our show cards. Have a little scroll along. You might have a show in for Wednesday that might interest some of you guys. So uh, definitely, definitely take a look at that one. Um, who else have we got on the leaderboard then? Couple of other people um, down the leaderboard at the bottom. So close for some people there. 34,000 points. Um, Otto in a microwave in 32nd place. We've got big boy Charlotte there as well. Always coming in clutch. 48th place. Okay, fair play. Um, anyway, good job. Good job, guys. Let's go ahead and spin our randomizer. That's the last thing we do on all these shows. Um, Logic.js. Let's edit my JavaScript file. It's one number that I edit each time. 67 people on the leaderboard today. Uh, let's press that button there. And then we need the thing here. So spam a number in chat. Yeah, I see some people do that already. I see, I see, I see you, I see you. Spam a number in chat though, if you want a better chance of a number being picked. Will it actually happen? Definitely not. There's no logic behind it at all. Just spam me number because I know you want to. Um, let's spin that metaphorical wheel. Let's see what number we're going to get. 41, 51, uh, 22, 64, 38, 41, 46, 38, 44, 43. 43 is my very lucky number today. Who is in 43rd place? It is Kamatam. Very well done, Kamatam. You are receiving 250 moolah. Um, congratulations. Congratulations. Let me get that written down to make sure you get your spot prize later. And I will pay it out hopefully just after this show finishes. So stick around. Um, stick around. Just keep an eye on your balance, basically. Um, very well done. Very well done. Uh, now, before we finish off, we have two more things, which are the leaderboards. Now, I mentioned Moolah earlier, which some of you have just won as well. Donate that Moolah to streamers to get on these leaderboards. And the top five people on these leaderboards at the end of this week will be getting a very, very cool t-shirt. I'm not wearing it right now because uh, we haven't even had them made yet. But they are really, really cool t-shirts. You definitely want to check them out and potentially get one because, again, I love I love the design. Um, looking at the top donators so far, though, we have got Anime Dan in the lead with 3.1 thousand. Followed by Jeff Keys on 2.75 thousand. SJP on one. 0.75. Dino on 1.3 and Cowboy Weasel on 1.25 as well. And uh, we got Microwave, Needle Pipe, Dot Tower, and John and Mila 1213 on the leaderboard. Not quite over the top five people. Um, so there you go. Hopefully, hopefully you'll be able to. Again, all you've got to do is donate. Like, I know some people here have more than a thousand moolah. I know they could donate and get in the top five. I know they could do it. Um, but, you know, you just need to donate. Um, anyway. Let's look at the top streamers as well, because you have a little cheeky streamer leaderboard as well. They've got a slightly different incentive. No merch for them, um, but a slightly different incentive. Uh, let's go for Pite is in the league with 5.45 thousand. But I'm at Anime Down on 3.9 and Dot on 3.6. The first time Dot has not been on first place on these leaderboards um, in quite a while, actually. So very well done, Pite, there. Um, and also Anime Dan. Very well done, very well done. Um, pipe, 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 pipe. That's how it's done, I know. Um, what is your... Jumper say, says, not just Pat and Shy, it says, cold ones with the boys. I know, it's only cringe. I got like stuff all over it though. It's quite a cool um, hoodie. I actually got it for free from um, one of the uh, people. Who you know, like Juicy, you know, the like no, no square guy. No, no, don't touch me there. This is my no, no square. That guy, I know his editor. Uh, his editor's my friend, and we're chatting to him. And then I got a free hoodie, which is pretty sick. So you gotta love it. Um, anyway. Thank you guys so much for playing. Uh, 
5,450 pints to drink on stream tonight. Uh, <laughs> let's go for a fight. A drunk. That's it. That's it. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for playing. Um, I'm going to be back tonight, actually, at 8 p.m. for the first time ever hosting more or less, or as I should say, Naughty or Nice, which is our spin for Christmas. Never hosted a show before. It is my concept and my, like, pa planning that went into it and stuff. But, uh, yeah, still never hosted it. So it's going to be a first time for me. Uh, definitely check it out if you want to make fun of me or... Uh, potentially watch me mess up because that's probably what will happen. Uh, but please do tune in at 8pm for a chance to win some more moolah and maybe some other goodies as well. We've got some free pins. Uh, we've got some bad things as well that might happen. I don't know. But thank you guys so much for who did the boxes. I did the boxes. I'm running a show and did the boxes. So I know where the cool stuff is. I've got to be totally unbiased though. I can't say anything. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for playing. Have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you at 8pm. Be there. Don't be late. It's going to be good fun. See you all later. Thanks so much for playing. Bye-bye.